This is a demo video of Tile UI Desktop. Uh, this is very similar to Tile UI Web, but it gives you a desktop application that you can launch just like any other desktop app. What this allows you to do is it allows you to use Tile UI with your local file system. You can drag and drop files. Here I've got a bunch of PDFs and PowerPoint presentations. You select those and just drop them straight onto Tile UI. They show up as icons to represent the files. You can drag them around, sort them. Um, here I'm going to remove the PowerPoint presentations from sort of all the other PDFs. And I'll group all the PDFs together and then group all the PowerPoint presentations together. Um, another interesting thing that this allows you to do is if you have a zip file, like here's one, I can uh, double click on the zip file and it actually extracts the contents. Uh, there was a folder in there, but there was also a PowerPoint presentation. I'll go ahead and, and add that into the PowerPoint stack. I'll get these out of the way. So now I've got my PowerPoints and my PDFs. Now another thing that the desktop app lets you do is you can drag photos or files uh, from anywhere. So if I open up iPhoto, I can select a bunch of photos and drag and drop them straight onto Tile UI. They come in as image tiles. I can play with them just like I can any other tiles. I can fan them out to view them. And if I want to get rid of a couple tiles, I can remove them or I can regroup. Now another module that's included is a webcam module. If I turn on the webcam module, this will allow me to take pictures using the webcam. Uh, there is my beautiful face. If I click on take a picture, it loads a tile of the current screenshot or the snapshot from the webcam. I've also enabled a motion detection algorithm. If I turn that on, you can see this bar down here is detecting motion. If I move a lot, the motion sort of exceeds a certain range and that will automatically take pictures. So you can use that as an awesome security measure, good uh, theft deterrent. So now I'm going to turn that off. If I then group these, I'll put them out to a grid. Let's see, these ones are obviously the best ones. We'll take those, make a group of them, get rid of the other ones. Oh yeah, those are nice. 